radial symmetry can be good for sculpting something that has some radial symmetry, but it can also be great for adding in detail where you want it. So in your transform menu, you'll be going to activate symmetry, and you're going to turn on R for radial symmetry, and then you'll decide which axis you want that radial symmetry to work along. You can see this one is going on the vertical axis, which is not what I want. But if I do the Y axis, it will work. Now you can see that this mesh is not centered correctly. So the way to fix that is going to be to find S pivot. So this will move the pivot within. You can also try sometimes C pivot will clear what's going on. But uh, the set pivot point will try to find the unmasked center of your object. Now you'll notice that when I sculpt on this, it's going to sculpt in order. You can also adjust the radial count if you want to be able to sculpt rather than just paint details across the surface. So both of those can be useful for different reasons.